What is going on YouTube? Fitness Kensho here again with another tutorial. And today, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I might get judged for this one. Um, but guys, don't knock this one. And this one's for the ladies as well, because I know a lot of the ladies have been asking for some type of workout, especially to enhance the butt. Um, I mean, I have my own glute day, and the reason why, and guys, this is for you. Um, the glute, our butt, pretty much our, it is pretty much our biggest single muscle group and it helps us out with a lot of lifts um, when it comes to your squat if you lean forward a lot um, when you're squatting that means it's, it's a pretty much a sign that you have either have weak hamstrings or weak glutes um, therefore you strengthen up your hamstrings you strengthen up your glutes you'll have a stronger uh, squat when you deadlift um, once you pull that bar maybe up close to like about your knee or, or whatever um, your glutes is what pulls it up so if you have strong glutes your deadlift is gonna be stronger um, think about the last time you bench, you, like let's say you went for a PR, and that one tough rep, that last one that you almost that you you needed a spotter for because you couldn't physically bring it back up. Pay attention to the one thing that you squeeze when you're actually trying to push up is your glutes. You kind of do one of these and you're squeezing back here. So um, your glutes is very important for a lot of your lifts. If your glutes are strong, they will they will pretty much improve compound lifts, um, squats, deadlifts, and your bench press. Um, and then, you know, that's one of the main reasons why a lot of people should be doing this particular exercise that I'm talking about, and I'm talking about the hip thrust. Now, funny story, <laughs> uh, a couple of guys at the gym one day were talking, and they were like, you know what, if your gym crush walks into the gym, and um, you have one exercise to choose um, to impress her, which one will you do? One guy said, oh, definitely bench, the other person said squats, another guy said deadlift, I'm like, hip thrust, why not? Like what better way to show you know, your crush what you got, <laughs> what, what, what you can offer than the hip thrust, right? <laughs> so this is why we're pretty much gonna show you guys how to do this particular movement now. Um, again, for the ladies, I know a lot of ladies wanna build up the, 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 um, the butt. You know, summertime is getting ready. Um, so a lot of people weren't blessed with a booty or someone just wants to enhance the booty or just add a little bit more mass to it. And that's perfectly fine. This is one of your exercises that can actually help you achieve that goal. So a couple of things that you're gonna need when performing this, this, uh, this exercise. Um, you're gonna need some type of padding. And the only reason why, I'm not trying to be a little bitch or anything like that, but this bar sitting on your pelvic bone hurts like hell. So you're gonna need something to actually comfort it, comfort the bar. Um, typically on the squat racks, when they have those little, those little paddings that you put when you uh, um, set the bar on your traps, um, you can easily use that and just wrap it around the bar. If they don't have that, you can just use a yoga mat. If they don't have that, use a towel, something that's gonna put, um, that's gonna take the bar just from sitting on your pelvic bone, right? So we set up kind of, um, how, if you guys remember the dumbbell pullover that we kind of put the bench right on the up on, on our uh, upper part of our back, right here, right sitting on the rear delts to make ourselves stronger. That's the same way we're gonna set up on this bench. So I'll show you guys here a couple of reps. So we wanna get on the floor, right? I usually get to about here so that when I have to lift up, my rear delts sit on the bench. Um, and then this padding, we just want to secure it, put it right under the bar there so that it's comfortable for us. And then we're just going to slide the bar right here. All right? So now it's secure, right? Now all we have to do is that we're going to put our feet up a little bit just so that our feet are planted on the ground, but we're not going to lift up just yet. And then we're going to grab this thing about I'll say about a little bit away from shoulder width apart. And this is gonna help us just keep the bar a little bit stable when we're thrusting up, right? So, again, we're gonna lift up, and we're up, right here. Now, we're just gonna sink the hips down, and then we're just gonna come up. Sink the hips down, and then come up. Sink the hips down, and then come up. If you want a bigger, like longer contraction, you know, come down, stretch, and then squeeze, just hold, 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 squeeze, and then come back down, squeeze, 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 and then come back down, and then just repeat. Now, 
I usually go like about maybe like 315 on these. Um, but just for this tutorial, I didn't want to go too heavy. Plus, yesterday was my glute day. I didn't want to go, I don't want to kill it. It kind of hurts back here anyway. But um, as you can tell, when you're coming down, you're pretty much just driving the weight, pretty much stretching out your glutes. And then when you're coming up, you're contracting it. So that's pretty much the motion you want to keep. You're coming back over here, right? If you think about think of it as a Romanian deadlifts or stiff leg deadlifts where you're coming down right here and it's pretty much a stretching out your glute muscles, the same thing is happening when you're coming down for the hip thrust. So you're coming down, you're stretching, and then you're coming up, squeeze, stretching, and then you're coming up and squeeze. And that's gonna cause pretty much the maximum tension on your glutes. You should be feeling it kind of like getting pumped after each thrust. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I know I know a lot of my guy uh, following or subscribers are gonna feel some type of way about this exercise, but it's not just for the ladies. Um, take into account the points that I made as far as how it's gonna improve your other lifts. Um, ladies, if you are thinking about how ways to build up your glutes, definitely give this exercise a try because in my opinion, it's one of the ones that you can actually put on the most mass. Now, you do have the cable kickbacks, you do have the, uh, the abductors, um, actually attack the glutes as well, and obviously squats. Um, but for the most part, if you wanna kinda like put a lot of mass on your glutes, this is it. And a lot of strength as well to help you with those squats if you do struggle with squats, all right? So again, this is pretty much the hip thrust. If you guys find this tutorial helpful, please give it a, a big thumbs up. Um, I'm still going through my lean gains program, so if you guys have any other exercises you guys want me to cover, make sure to leave them in the comments below, and I'll be getting that to you guys in the next few days. All right? Take care, guys. See you in the next video. All right, you guys. So protein shake is all done. I'm going to put this thing in my little, what they call it, mason jar or something like that? Yeah. I like the, the streak out of this. It's kind of cool. So I'll put the whole thing in there.